and welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat. If you're just tuning in, this is the last day of our Mermaid Tales little mini series we have going on. This is the last decorators pack that I could find. This is called the Dreamy Reef Bedroom Surprise Me Pack, and we have a brand new mermaid named Starlet. So we're ready to open this up and see what else is inside. We have the tape cut. We're going to go ahead and pull that open. We are going to pull out our mermaid first. She is super cute. She has a star over her eye, a starfish in her hair, stars throughout her little outfit, even on her tail. The back pretty much looks the same as the front. We have another starfish detail. And as soon as we find her merpet, we will be doing a color change test on her to see exactly what changes and to what. She is beautiful. This is where the merpets hide, so we're gonna pull this off. Again, you can save this tail. This one goes from a magenta pink to a really, really pretty shiny blue. This one is also probably going to make its way into my journal at some point. Here is our little checklist. Those are all the merpets we can get. All week I've been looking for this one, so maybe this is the box. There we go. We're not going to turn it over because that's our checklist and we want to be surprised. So here we have a little blind bag. We're just going to try to rip this one. Whoops. So there we go. And we have the little puppy that was at the top. So he's probably going to change in warm water. We're going to start here with Starlet. Take a really good look at her. We are going to make sure that she is cold. Like I suspected, no real color change because again, it's like 40 something degrees outside and my room is probably like 65. So pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and dip this into the warm water. Don't see a whole lot happening. I did notice that this got a lot lighter of a yellow. So we'll let her sit in there for a second. Here is our little merpet. We can see this cute little puppy with a dark blue tail. So again, ice cold water, not a whole lot going on there. We're gonna go ahead and dip him into the warm water and you can pretty much see that almost instantly change. So we have this really nice pink color that's slowly turning blue again. So there we go, a little pink tail. I'm going to see if the eye makeup changes on the puppy. Nope, still a little pink spot, so we'll go ahead and dry that one off. And then our little mermaid, she did go to a really light yellow, not quite a white, and it doesn't look like it's getting any brighter. So we are going to dip her into the cold water to see the color change. Yeah, definitely night and day difference. Let's see if her eye color changes. Pink star. Nope, not a whole lot happening. But that is the color change for the mermaid and her merpet. Let's do that one more time. There we go. We're back down here at the bottom to the furniture that we can see. We're gonna pop that out and it rolled right out at us. So here we have a cute little kitty cat lamp. It is super cute, lots of detail. It's got a little light bulb in the top, which I think is an awesome little thing to put in there. It's even got a little squiggly tail on the back. Set that over there. Then we have this cute little bed. And this is the Dreamy Reef bedroom, so we're going to find a lot of bedroom furniture. So we have this cute little bed that is ombre from dark pink down to light pink. There's a mermaid tail on the comforter, a shell pillow, and a translucent fish tail headboard. So that is a super cute bed to have. Right, so we're going to start up here at the top. We're going to pull this little port window open and pull out the little plastic piece and it just bounced to the floor. So the first thing we have is this really cute translucent blow dryer and instead of a little plug it has a little tail and that looks like a little fin even though it's the button. There's still a little kitty cat tail on the back there. Hope that shows up on camera. But this is super cute, so it looks like we have some bathroom stuff in here as well. Let's see what else we can find. I'm gonna push, I'm gonna pull. Looks like a cup of some kind. So here we have this little makeup brush with its fin and a little heart detail there. And then this cute little makeup brush holder, again with all that scale detail. That is the cutest thing I've seen. This reminds me a lot of the Happy Places, like the home delivery series, where all the little pieces went together really well. We're gonna push in the shell. 
find some more cute little things to put into our reef house that we found on Monday. This is a cute little side table. It's got a chest on it with a lot of oceany detail. Like a little box on a side table, so that is super, super cute. I love the stars that are painted on the top. Let's see what we have inside the little port window. Oh, it's a little vanity! So our little makeup set can sit right there in the middle, which is super cute. It has like silver paint instead of a mirror. That is so cute. I like the little star detail there too. These are so adorable. We have one last surprise left in this box, so we're gonna go ahead and push and pull. See what that is. This looks like a little mini chair. They call it a stool. It matches the bed with the ruffles. Has a dark blue top that's translucent. Same thing with the back of the chair. And that is so cute. Everything in these sets goes really well together. So here is the close up for the Dreamy Reef bedroom set. What is your guys' favorite piece? I think that that bed has my vote. I love the fish headboard. If they made that in real life, I would completely put that in my house somewhere. So leave me your guys' favorites down below. If you guys would like to see me open more of the mermaids, maybe the single packs, please leave that down below. And if you're like, oh my gosh, honey bat, I've had enough mermaids, you can leave me that down below as well. I love your guys' feedback. Thanks so much. Until next time, see you later.